Hello everyone and welcome to African Life. I am your host, Vijo Chime. African Life started a new series within the program that we're calling Mission Talks. This is where we go and visit the Sub-Sahara missions or embassies that are located here in New York City. What we wanted to do really is to introduce the countries to the American public because I find that the average American person doesn't really know much about any African country. So we felt that it was necessary to go and talk to the heads of state, as it were, uh, located in New York City, and that would be the amb ambassadors. Now, it happened that we just picked one country, and the very first country we decided to do uh, is uh, the ambassador is Usman Mutari. This is what he had to say on the day that African Life went to visit him. Please stay tuned. All right, so you know, sir, what, as we discussed earlier, the mission of African Life is to introduce our African countries to America, okay? There is a lot that they do not know about us. So we decided to start with Niger, okay? Now, uh, if you can tell our viewers, because a lot of them think when they say Nigerian, that you're talking about Nigerians, okay? So we wanted to be clear to make that distinction. Can you tell us where exactly is Niger? Niger Republic uh, is located in uh, central western part of Africa. That means the border with the seven countries in the south, with Nigeria, in the east with Chad, in the north with Libya and Algeria, in the west with Mali and Burkina Faso, and then in the west again, but south now with Benin Republic. What is the population, if you have that figure, of Nigerians? Nigerians now are uh, estimated to be around 11 to 12 million. Okay. And are there major ethnic groups? Yeah, we roughly have uh, eight major ethnic groups. Okay. That means uh, the Hausas, the Jamas, the Fulani, or sometimes called Pearl, or Fufulde. And then you have the Kanuris, the Tuareg or Tamashek, and then you have Arabs in Niger. Okay, now, does everyone get along? Yes, uh, Niger is a democratic country. That means uh, we have uh, the freedom of speech, of religion, language, all the fundamental freedoms we connect in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Now, suppose I were a tourist, okay, African-American, a, a white tourist, wanting to go to West Africa. I have not made up my mind which country in West Africa I want to go to. So I come to you and I say, uh, Ambassador Mutari, please, can you sell Niger for me? I want to, should I go? Is there something to see in Niger? What can you say to the tourist? Well, uh, the first, uh, first thing is that I will not sell Niger. I will promote okay. Niger. Uh, the second thing is that uh, Niger, the most important thing we are proud of now is our democratic, democratic system. The second thing is the stability, the political stability. And thank God we know that the American audience is a very educated audience. And they know that Niger now uh, deserves to be visited. Not only that, because we are a democratically unstable uh, uh, political system, but uh, we have uh, the most uh, beautiful desert in, in Africa. Okay. And then we have the most beautiful uh, museum in uh, Africa, south of the Sahara. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of things to, uh, to promote in Niger. It will probably take... Uh, a little time, but I'm sure that uh, uh, Americans are discovering it and they will discover it even more and better. Beautiful. 
Okay, we're going to take a short break now. All right. Hi, I'm Ozzy, and this is Test Your Knowledge. We're on 125th Street in the heart of Harlem. This is our word of the day. If you're from Francophone Africa, it's Niger. If you're from Anglophone Africa, it's Niger. Let's see what people on the street think it is. Now, what do you think that word is or means? Um, Niger, a river, a place? I don't know. A, a place or a river in Africa? A river or a place in Africa. Good guess. Can you name four other countries in Africa? Um, Madagascar, Mozambique. Uh, um, I can't. Oh, gosh. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're close. You're doing good. Okay, wait. Madagascar, Mozambique, um, Egypt. Um, oh, gosh. How come I can't think of anything else? South Af Wait, no, I can't say South Africa. Yes, you can. South Africa. <laughs> yes, four countries in Africa. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you. Say bye-bye. Now, I want you to look over there at that word and tell us what you think it means or you, what you think it is. Looks like the word nigger to me. Um, Guess again. Niger. Very good. And where is that or what is that? Is that some place in Africa? Is that a region? Or something? Very, very close. Um, is that a name used for Africans, a certain name? You said a region in Africa. A region. Um, I don't know, like Guyana or something like that. I'm not too sure. Okay, well, you were very, very close. You were this close. It's a country in West Africa. Mm -hmm. it's, it's on the northern side of Nigeria. Nigeria. Name four countries in Africa, if you can. Other, other countries. Um, let me see. Um, Guyana. Ga Guyana. Um, you mean Ghana? Ghana yes. Ghana. Ghana um, what, well, South Africa? Yes. Um, Ethiopia? Um, let me see. Uh, One more. Um, Babylon? Um, Try again. Bayesian? Try again. Uh, West Africa? Somewhere in Africa. Somalia. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks, sir. Welcome back, everyone. We are talking to Ambassador Mutari, who is uh, the permanent representative for the UN for the Republic of Niger. Uh, we're talking about his country, Niger, and uh, we are going on now to talk about uh, immigration. Um, issues. Okay, sir, um, can you tell us, do you have the figure of how many Nigerians are in America, specifically New York City? Well, we really don't have the exact figure of uh, Nigerian, Nigerian immigrants uh, in the States or even in the New York area, but we have some estimates. The reason uh, is that most of them, they don't need to come to the mission to register or, 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 or otherwise, unless they have a specific problem. But we, we can estimate the figure for New York and uh, the five boroughs around roughly 1,000 or 1,500. Okay. And have Nigerians always been in America? Did they start coming recently and why? It's really very recent. The reason was that a long time ago, Nigerian uh, citizens used to be very uh, uh, linked to the, to, the, to the homeland. They were not uh, going outside. Uh, so from time to time, they used to go on the coastal area in Africa and then come back home. But uh, more recently, uh, due particularly to the democratical system where they, don't, where they don't need any visa to, 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 to travel, to go outside. 
uh, then uh, we have seen a uh, very, uh, very important uh, uh, movement of migration towards Europe specifically and then towards the United States. Okay. Now suppose I were a recent arrivee from Niger. I do not know anybody. I'm here by myself. What advice can you give to me? Are there resources that are out there to help me? Well, uh, probably due to our very recent uh, migration movements, Nigerians uh, still remain very close to their families and to their uh, kinship and to the uh, offices in outside, in the embassies and consulates. So even before they leave Niger, most of them already have some contact mm -hmm. in the United States, in New York, or in, and they have the contact of the uh, permanent mission of Niger to the United Nations here in New York, and then probably even the, our embassy in Washington, D.C. Okay. Or uh, they may have contact with one friend or one relative here in the United States. Okay. All right. We'll take another break. And when we come back, we will talk to Ambassador Mutari about the difference between a mission versus embassy. This is a big mystery for some people. Now, that word over there, can you tell us what it means or what you think it is? What it means? It's a river in Africa. A river in Africa. Good guess. You want to try again? You're close. Very close. Mm. All I can think of is it's a, it's a, a place in Africa. Great. Now look at that word over there. Without saying what that word is, do you think you can tell us what you think it means or what it is? I think that word is a degrading word. And I think not quite what we're going for today. Do you want to take a second guess? Or it can be a place. Yes, it is. Very okay. close. I'm getting excited here. <laughs> it's a place in Africa that very few Americans have knowledge of, I think. Absolutely. You're and, very. Um, I think that some special people come from that place. Right on, right on. But can you tell me where in Africa this place is? No. Um, is it West Africa? Yes, it is. It's in West Africa. Do you know exactly where in West Africa? No. Close enough. Thank you so much, Pamela. It is actually a country in West Africa. Okay. It's in the northern um, boundary of Nigeria. Okay. So you were very, very close. It is a country. Thank you so much. But I have another question for you. Okay. Can you name four countries in West Africa or countries in Africa? Uh, Nigeria. Yes. Uh, Ganja. No. I'm Ghana. Ghana. Yes. Um, um. South. South Africa. Absolutely. And West Africa. Uh, East Africa. North Africa. Uh, uh, those aren't countries. Oh, um, South Africa. Um, you know, um, um, begins with a Z. Um. Zim Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Who are you? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Pamela. You. Have Bye. a great day. Bye. Um, we are here again continuing to talk to Ambassador Mutari about the Republic of Niger, his country. And uh, our next question, sir, is because I think there's a lot of confusion between what is a mission and what is an embassy. Okay, perhaps you can shed some light on that. Well, uh, to make this difference very briefly, I would say, uh, I would say that the, our embassy in Washington, D.C. Uh, is working on bilateral matches between the United States of America and Niger Republic. Whereas the permanent mission of Niger to the United Nations in New York City is working with 
the United Nations system in general, and the United Nations Secretary in particular, uh, with regard to the relations between Niger and the United Nations system. The, so the difference is, one, that when our embassy in Washington, D.C. is working on bilateral matters, whereas the permanent mission of Niger to the United Nations in New York is working on multilateral matters. Okay. So if I am a Nigerian citizen and I need something, okay, passport, to you know, something like this, I am most likely going to go to which one, the mission or the embassy? Normally, you should go to the embassy of Niger to the United, to the United States of America, okay. wherever uh, consular affairs is concerned. Okay. Okay. So, um, without giving away too much of the UN agenda, what is uh, Republic of Niger? You, as a representative, what are some of the issues that you could be working with the UN? In reality, we are working on uh, global issues. There's no specific matters on the agenda of the United Nations that is doesn't concern Niger. But we, of course, have some focus on specific matters. We can specifically talk, for instance, of anything concerning the least developed countries, anything concerning economics, uh, economic affairs, anything concerning social affairs. That's the question of diseases, the question of hunger, the question of, 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 of uh, human security in general. Okay, we will um, like to meet some of your staff, the people who help you run the office, if that is okay. We would like to have them come and say hello to us. Okay? It will be a pleasure for me to. Okay, sir. So. Okay, sir. Can you tell us as they come and they sit down who these gentlemen are? <laughs> okay, this is uh, Mr. Tamkwano. Okay. He's uh, my counselor in charge of political and security matters. Okay. Sir, can you say a little bit of what you do, your daily, what do you do? I am in charge mainly of uh, Security Council, Peacekeeping Operation, and uh, uh, Fifth Committee, uh, the occasion of uh, uh, financial and administrative uh, affairs in the UN. Okay. Thank you. So who is this gentleman? Uh, Osman Alassan. He is uh, my counselor in charge of economic and social affairs. Okay, so can you explain a little bit what that means? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm in charge of uh, treatment and follow-up of uh, questions related to economic and social affairs, like uh, fight against poverty, uh, sustainable development, and uh, human rights, uh, and some uh, issues uh, related to LDM, least developing countries also. Thank you. My administrative assistant, Mrs. Uh, Rachel, who is uh, in reality my closest collaborator here. Okay, ma'am, can you tell us how fond you are of uh, the ambassador and working for him and what are some of your duties with him? Um, my duties concern, uh, as uh, he said already, uh, all the administrative tasks, his appointments and uh, arrangement of uh, whatever he has to do at United Nations and uh, even a private one. And uh, I'm really fond of Niger. If not, I'm not going to work in here. <laughs> And where are you from then? I'm from Madagascar, in fact. Can you say that again? I am from Madagascar. Yes. Oh, she, I got it. You got, you got it. it. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you so much. And we don't mean to impose. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Now, let your final words be to Africans everywhere, in here, in America, the diaspora, even the continent, okay? What would you wish for us, okay, and this beautiful continent we call Africa? What would you wish? Well, what I will wish is peace, prosperity, 
and more and more freedom for Africa. But the message is always the same than what I've been told learned centuries ago by our forefathers at been Jubois, Wame Unkorma, Martin Luther King, all those great leaders we had uh, in black continents, Africans, African Americans, at the African diaspora, the message is the same, unity, 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 and solidarity. And unity is the only way which will lead us towards economic prosperity, independence, and freedom, and democracy. And as those universal values we cherish, and who, uh, which are cherished by all hum uh, humankind. And that's exactly why our leaders in Africa have got together and created the African Union, which replaced the Organization of African uh, Unity. Mm -hmm. OK. Thank you. Thank you so much. OK. Thank you so much, because um, these are good things. This is a wonderful thing. And also, I wish the same thing for the continent. OK? So thank you for having us today. All thank right? You. It was a pleasure. All right. Well, we come to another end of African life. I hope that you guys watching learned one or two things about If you are at a cocktail party and the country should come up, you can at least say you know something about it. And that is the purpose of our Mission Talks series, really, to introduce the African countries to the American public. And we hope that we have succeeded a little bit in doing that with Niger. Um, we do not know who we will talk to next week or where we will be next week, but please stay tuned and, well, join us. And uh, we'll bring you something interesting and fascinating to do with the African immigrant stories here in New York City. Thank you. I'm your host, Vijo Chime. Bye-bye.